Hey y'all, welcome back to the kayak series. This morning we're down checking out a couple spots on public ground and really just coming in to see. We're already dumping down the winter pool off the lake and the rivers and the creeks and everything's kind of dropping out. And so it's that time where I come in and just make sure I can get in by access, make sure everything's good, checking log jams, all that stuff. And with that said, I want to talk about this morning five key things you need to keep in mind. A lot of time we think about summer scouting for deer, we think about all the boots on the ground and we think about all the other aspects and you say, what difference does it make if you're scouting for deer with a kayak or just boots on the ground or with a quad, whatever. And yes, scouting for deer is pretty much scouting for deer once you get boots on the ground. But when it comes to kayak hunting, getting in by water access or a boat, whatever you're using, uh, when you come in by water access, you've got some key features, some key elements you need to keep in mind. I call it scouting, call it prep, whatever. Five chores you need to get knocked out when it comes to scouting and prep work for deer hunting from a kayak. Now, one of the coolest things about kayak hunting is it allows you to run up and down those creeks and rivers. You can bounce from bank to bank, checking crossings, checking spots where they come down to water, whatever it is. It's a very quick and easy way to get some intel. You can do it quick and easy with a kayak, just bumping up and down, bank to bank. Number two, I always wanna go in and check those creeks, make that run to my tree stand and make sure I can even get in. Uh, a lot of times you have trees down, you have those log jams, all the different stuff that's gonna be a mess when you're cruising up there trying to get into your spot. 4.30 in the morning is not the time to be realizing that you have got a tree across the creek or the river, or the, there's a log jam or there's a mess that's gonna trip you up and tangle you up. You need to know that ahead of time. Go in there ahead of time, find those, mark those, break those up, bring a chainsaw if it's legal, cut them out of the way, bust those things up so you can get through. Again, 4.30 in the morning in the dark with a headlamp on is not the time to be realizing I've got to tote this boat across this log jam, over this pile, whatever, get out and portage across, whatever it is. You don't want to be doing that with all your tree stand and your climbing sticks and all your gear loaded up. Find those spots ahead of time, get them cleaned up so you can access your tree stands by kayak with no problems. Number three is quick and simple, and you can honestly do it tied in with some of the other chores you're knocking out, but that is just timing how long it takes you to get by kayak to your hunting spot. You need to know, is it a 15 minute run or is it an hour and 15 minute run? Find that out ahead of time so you're not busting up open in the morning by paddling up during prime time because you took a lot longer to get to your tree stand than you thought. Know how long it takes to get from your truck to your tree stand by kayak. All right, number four for me when it comes to scouting for deer is finding those access points that allow me to go undetected from other hunters in the area. You know, it's public ground. If you find that spot, more power to you, but there's no point in giving that spot away. I don't want to let everybody know I'm hunting this particular piece of ground. I try not to leave my truck parked right up there on the main road for everybody to see. It's going to mean that I run a little further up the river, run a little further up the creek. It's a longer route by boat, but it allows me to go undetected, not tell everybody in town where I'm hunting. It's no big deal until you kill a big buck and then all of a sudden everybody remembers, hey, I saw Brody's truck parked on that particular piece of public ground and regardless of where you killed the deer, they're going to assume you killed it there. So don't let everybody in the world know where you're hunting. Go a little further. Don't get sneaky and get trespassing and all that stuff, but find those access points that allow you to go undetected from hunters as well as the deer itself. Number five for me is finding those deer on the back door approach. Finding those deer that other hunters have pushed up from the road access, they've pushed into the backside of sloughs and swamps and all those spots that you slip in the back door and you've got them. Look for those back access spots. A lot of times you say, man, that's too thick, that's too nasty. But along that back side of the lake, along the river, along the creeks, it opens up and those deer will be hanging out in some of those edges of those thickets on the back side. It's a beautiful thing when you come in by boat and find those. You walk 10 yards, hop a tree, and you're in the chips. So find the back door approach and you'll find the deer. All right, guys, that's it. My five chores I'll be knocking out before open today. I encourage you to do the same if you're hunting by kayak. Let us know what you think. Let us know some of the things you like to do. Just a comment below, let us know. Be sure to like it, share it, subscribe it. We hope to see you back here next time. Shoot straight. God bless.